How do you buy a business with no money down? Is it even possible? Let's take a look. Hi, my name is John Stoddard. I've acquired three businesses and I've interviewed over 90 serial acquirers at top M&A entrepreneurs. Well, let's see if it's possible. Let's go through it in a little exercise. If you're gonna to try to buy a business with no money down, you actually have two doors, door number one and door number two. Let's take a look at door number one. Door number one is a distressed business. It's not profitable. It's a fixer upper. Some call it a time wasting money sucking garbage. But you know, somebody's garbage is somebody's treasure. These types of businesses really pose a complex set of challenges because you gotta bring a lot of skills to the table. Number one, can you turn the business around? Number two, do you have the skills and experience to turn it around? Number three, do you understand why it's not profitable? How it got there in the first place? Was it management, cost of goods? Was it the environment? What was it? Number four, do you have the money to turn around? It's unlikely that you're gonna walk in uh, to a business with no money down and see a money losing business and not have to put money in it. Do you have the time and the emotional IQ to turn it around? Distressed businesses require energy and focus and time. Let's take a look at door number two, a profitable business. Once you get here, there are actually three more doors to go into. So let's take a look at each door at a time. Number three, that's where you bring skill or sweat equity or your network to the business. Skills, brains, resources. It's like having a marketing company. Can you 10X sales or double EBITDA? Or are you a celebrity or authority and have a big network? Can you bring 100 million followers to their landing page? Let's take a look at door number four. Door number four is OPM or other people's money. That means bringing investors in. You're raising capital, short-term, long-term, intermediate, hitting up friends, family banks, family offices, private equity, and even seller financing. That's other people's money. Door number five is they are desperate and motivated. You need to find a business owners who really want to get out or need to get out perhaps even very desperate to get out. They may be close to retirement age or they're considering retirement because health issues. Or the owner has passed away or a partnership has dissolved where one partner wants to leave. End of the day, you got a buyer on one side, seller on the next side. You want to buy a business and you want something that they have. What are you going to exchange for equal or greater value? Let's wrap it up. Can you buy a business with no money? The short answer is yes, but it is very difficult and unlikely. Business owners, even distressed or retiring ones, are going to want some kind of money for the value of their business. But with the right combination of, let's say, personal skills, professional skills, perseverance, and patience, it is possible to buy a business with no money down. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, or tell other people about it. Thank you for watching.